Look at this hat. Gorgeous. It has so many dead deer flies on it. Oh my gosh, what a work of art. <laughs> Murder and mayhem and anarchy all represented on one single hat. Thousands upon thousands of eyes looking back into your inner soul. It is official. It is blue cup day and I'm going to catch a lot of deer fly. I have a good feeling about this. You better, because it looks pretty ridiculous. All right, what you are looking at is basically just a old ball hat that I don't care that gets ruined. And I've attached a blue plastic solo cup to it, uh, just using threads. So how this basically works is deer fly are attracted uh, to shadows and also specifically the color blue or dark colors. I'm going to apply something that we use as Tanglefoot. It is usually used by gardeners to put and apply at the base of trees to deter uh, insects from climbing up. It's a sticky substance. It stays sticky no matter what. It doesn't dry out. Uh, and you're going to notice that the blue is going to attract the deer fly and this stuff is going to make them stick and they are going to stop bothering you. All right, uh, so now that I have the first blue cup actually attached to the cap, I've learned that you don't want to always be cutting it off each and every time it gets full and it does get uh, full quite easily. Uh, so what I do is I'm just going to put a small amount of Tanglefoot uh, inside, super small amount, and place it on top. Um, and then what I'm going to do is smear the Tanglefoot um, just around the side edges. No need to do it on top. They usually are going to come from behind every once, at one, every once in a while from the front, but you're going to notice a lot from behind. Uh, and then after it is completely full or it's disgusting looking, uh, it does become like that quickly, uh, then I just have to remove this top uh, cup and not have to re-sew the cup each and every time. All right, here it is. Fresh new blue hat, or blue cup hats. And you're gonna notice, or I'm gonna you notice. You just got your first one. Did I really? Yep. Just so, less than 30 seconds, this hat has been Turn on. around and see if you got any more. No, just the one so far. All right, let's get on a hike before you pick up too many here, before we even leave. If you are having a deer fly problem on your property, there's those patches and they're effective. We've just found this is really effective and it clears them out for a couple weeks. You don't have to be wearing it all the time. You wear it when you're cutting your grass every week and you wouldn't have to wear or worry about deer flies in your property. Obviously deer, deer flies aren't a problem everywhere. You know, if you're in the thicker woods like we are, you're going to have more deer fly around. Um, so it's almost a necessity for parts of the year around here, much like wearing a veil to protect yourself from the uh, black flies. This is a necessity. We used to go around, running around, swatting. I remember going on hikes and you'd have a piece of um, a wood with a leaf on it, a tree branch, and you'd be swatting yourself and trying to get them off of you. They will stay with you for, you know, 100 meters or more. So, I mean, if, once you have this, I don't wear one, she wears it, and I never have to worry about deer fly. They're always on her, and then they're done. So if you're having a problem, try it. It's pretty cheap. Tanglefoot, once again. Apply it to a blue solo cup. Sewn onto a hat. Be careful of excess, unless you like Tanglefoot in your hair, which nobody really does. Catch and kill deer fly for a whole breeding cycle. You're welcome. <laughs>
Hey. Sit. Good girl. <laughs>